Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I am completely out of little bumblebee paintings and it's it's a catastrophe. I'm kidding, it's not a catastrophe. I'm, I'm so grateful that they sell and people buy them and people like them and people like the videos too. So we're gonna paint another new one on a four inch by four inch canvas. This is from Michaels. They're an inch and a half thick, which is neat because they can just sit on a shelf. Okay, let's have some fun. Hey, let's stop a second and talk about what I'm up to. <laughs> I'm, I'm painting two at a time. Oh, and I just got paint on my finger. Just in case I accidentally uh, switch it or the background switches, that sort of thing. I'm painting two at a time. I'm gonna grab a rag here. So I have a, a handy, messy old rag for when I do that. Okay, so I'm going, let's see, I'm trying to get my phone as close as possible so that you can see what's going on. So, oh, I don't know if you can hear Freckle. She's meowing outside my studio door. So what I did is I took a little bit of thalo blue green shade. Here, let's go through the colors. Let's start with black. Mars black. And then this one is thalo blue green shade. Use any blue you have, don't worry about it. And then I put out quinacridone magenta because I know it'll make, if I want red, it'll make good reds. If I want a purple, it'll make a good purple. And also because I basically have um, red, yellow, blue. So primary colors, I mean, this is thalo blue green shade and that's quinacridone magenta. But so that you guys don't have to go out and buy a lot of paint. And this is Cad Yellow Medium Hue. Sorry about that, I had to cough so I stopped the video. And then Titanium White. I like it in this jar because you can store it um, on the cap and then your paint is always down, ready to go. Okay, so then what I did is I took a, uh, quite a bit of white, a little bit of thalo blue green shade and a little bit of black, very little bit. I made a muted blue, it's really quite pretty. Um, and I'm surprised I could even muted it a little bit more with a little bit more black. I think since I've been painting with such juicy colors that when I mute them down, I don't really, you know, it looks really muted to me because I've been playing with juicy colors. There we go. I got it out. <laughs> and then I used, this is a really nice brush from Royal and Lane Nickel. It's their mental line. I think, is it an inch? I've, wor I've worn off the... Well, it's more like a three quarter inch, especially if I were to tighten it up. Yeah, I think it's a three quarter inch filbert. So that's fun. It kind of gives me some of these little, like there's, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's kind of like a little round brush mark. So that's fun. I'm just kind of thinking greens in the background, blue sky. Nothing too, too radical. And then I think what I want to do, I'm looking for a pencil. I think we might have to use the black. I don't think the white is gonna show. I'm thinking like clover or thistles. I wanna do purple. So I have to decide, maybe I'll decide if my bees come in. I, want my bee. I think I want my bee kinda big. So we'll draw just an oval. So then I probably want a bigger purple I'm almost going to draw a circle, maybe. It's kind of fun. Draw a little bit. I mean, I kind of drew with my fingers and my wrist, but really you kind of draw from your shoulder and you'll get a better circle. 
little tip there. That almost looks like a kind of a golf ball on a bent tee. <laughs> yes, I used to golf quite a bit. So we have that one, and then it's gonna have, I don't know if I'm gonna draw it in, but I'm gonna have like this kind of spikies going out. So maybe we want, we probably should have three, cause odds are good. We have one B. I wonder if my B's low enough. I think it might be, we can scoot it down. So maybe you have one, we have one kind of coming off. Then maybe a smaller one. Maybe we'll do a different shape, kind of a another oval shape. Okay, I think that sets the stage. I'm gonna mix some purples and I'll be back in a bit. I'd pop in already so I am um, kind of wasn't sure what brush I wanted to use I grabbed this little quarter inch bright brush and then an angle brush but this brush is working sometimes it's just you have to remind yourself so I was laying my brush down and pulling down this way nothing wrong with that I can see where my paints drying and then the canvas is coming through but what works maybe a little bit better is um gonna this one's not quite as open so I'm gonna put a, like a little okay is to uh, like lay it down in, in like in the center and then lift up pull up lift up so you get thinner lines you want always so kind of flick up almost you can practice on a piece of paper. There was a good one. <laughs> they're not all good ones. Don't worry about it if they're not. I like to giggle. I giggle. I think I giggle in every video. Yeah, those are nice. So a light touch. Sometimes it just takes like a couple of, you'll see me even in the time lapse. Like I'll do it over and over again because it's kind of like getting in the groove and getting the right touch and feel and you don't you don't instantly have it even if you've been painting a long time. It Sometimes it just takes you a little bit. I think those are kind of fun. I'm not sure if I like that they're standalone. I might add some other, you know, they need layers too. Um, I might add some other little weeds like I tend to do. I don't know, we'll figure it out when we get there. But I thought I'd pop in and let you know that I'm, you know, I'm setting it down in the center and lifting it up and liking that better. And I'm just rinsing off my brush because as long as I've popped in to chat with you, and then when they dry, I kind of already did this on one of them, and then I made it dark again. I'm gonna hopefully come back with a kind of a medium purple. Oh, we could even add, actually, we could add a little more quinacridone to it, white and quinacridone, to the purple we mixed. That might, I don't know, is that too pink? Sometimes you have to let it dry and then figure out if you like it. And then, I, oh, we gotta figure out where the sun's coming from. Since I usually just have it coming from the top left. So we'll stick that down there. Okay, so, and I don't know if it, oh, see, now I'm doing what I did again before, which isn't wrong. If you wanna do it that way, it's not wrong. But it might. my I want to do it the other way you, I could also turn the canvas that's something I don't do as much as I might if I weren't videoing I think that's plenty dark enough there we'll just kind of build up the color okay guys I hope that helps here, maybe you want to see it closer. 
and I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I, as I, I, if you followed me, watched a few of my videos, um, I share that I quite often don't like my backgrounds and oh, maybe half the time I don't like to my finished painting and then I'll like it in a couple days. Um, I like the wispies. I was thinking I would have more purple, but I've actually got more, some yellow, orange, and magenta in there. Here, maybe we want a screenshot. And I did a really big B, or here, wait a minute, screenshot, one thing at a time. And then I did a really big B on purpose. I don't know if I like it. It's kind of, it's fun, I just, I don't know. I've got a little, so if you did, uh, followed along where, where we painted the apple, this, this bee has a little reflective light, even though the light's coming from over here. I put a little ref reflective light underneath it, which is fun. Let me know if you give this one a try. Or you, I'll link some of my other bee videos in this video description. If you're new to painting, just uh, type in the comments, me. You know, I'd like to know how many people are new to painting and follow, follow my videos, watch my videos. I can't thank you all enough for the support you've given me in this channel and the great tips I've learned from the Facebook group. I just can't thank you guys enough. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.